gluten-free Avenger, and on today's episode, I am making ginger soy salmon. But what makes it so special is that I actually have some really fresh salmon that Sina C Seafoods sent to me. Woo, tongue twister. <laughs> Got it out of the way. Um, that they sent to me, and um, it's really fresh, and it's a family-run business run by Sina and Rich Wheeler, and Rich is actually in Alaska right now fishing for this fish. And it's just, I mean, living in LA, it's probably the best and most fresh fish I've ever had. And um, basically, Rich gets the best of the best of the seafood, best of his catch, and only that is processed. And it's not processed by machinery; it's actually processed by hand. Um, and they put it in to, into these little um, uh, packages, plastic packages, but they wrap it in parchment paper so that it doesn't touch the plastic. So just a little special, um, just a little special gift and just a really great thing. So I'm gonna give you all the details. We're actually gonna be running a contest. So if um, you want to be part of that and you want to get some of this salmon for free, you definitely need to enter the contest. So all the details are gonna be down below. So do not miss out on that. So let's get started. Okay, so now we have all of our ingredients. It's such a simple thing. All you need is tamari soy sauce, which is gluten-free, your cut ginger, fresh ginger, and your salmon, and that's it. That's really all you need. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our about a quarter cup of fresh ginger, just kind of cut into these little um, quarter inch to an eighth of an inch thick pieces, and we're just going to add some soy sauce. I, I say about a cup, but basically you just want to get it to um, cover the bottom of the salmon so that the salmon actually soaks it up. So this is, so this soy sauce, just so you know, it's tamari, it's the original soy sauce. So back in the day, um, soy sauce didn't have wheat in it. It was discovered that if you add wheat to the soy, it actually makes more faster. Hey. So that's why you know it, soy sauce is everywhere, but because um, there's so much of it now. But the old-fashioned method just has soy, no wheat, and it takes longer to, to make. So you, you know, the, everyone that's eating regular soy, regular soy sauce is eating the wrong one. If you're eating the gluten-free kind, you're eating the real stuff. So aren't we lucky? Yay! Okay, so um, there you go. Uh, in my house, we only have the ginger, uh, the gluten-free soy sauce, because there really, there truly is no difference. It doesn't, it doesn't have a flavor difference at all. All right, so now you're gonna have it, so it covers, it's about a half an inch of the bottom of this pan, and then what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna heat it up. You're going to either heat it up in the microwave, which is what I'm going to do, or you can always heat it up on the stove top. But the purpose of heating it up is to get all of the flavor of the ginger to meld together with the soy sauce. And the only way to do that is to heat up the soy sauce. So I'm going to throw this in the microwave for about two minutes and I'll be right back. All right, so now our uh, ginger and soy sauce is out of the microwave. I let it cool for about 15 to 20 minutes. Um, I know it sounds really weird to heat it up and then cool it, but basically we're trying to get the really awesome flavor of the ginger out. And the only way to do that is to heat up the soy sauce. So, and you don't want to put it in when the soy sauce is hot because you're going to end up cooking the salmon in it. And you don't want to do that. It's just a marinade. All right, so now we have our really great salmon here. Um, I took off all the parchment paper and just gave it a quick rinse with water and patted it dry. So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it like this and we're gonna put it skin side up because you want all that great marinade to get into the um, get into the salmon. So we're just gonna put it in there, and as you can see, it doesn't. It um, mostly covers covers the fish, and but the the skin doesn't have to be covered in the, in the soy sauce. You just need the bottom really to be covered because it will just it will start soaking it up. Um, when we come back to it after about 35 minutes to an hour, um, some of the some of the soy sauce will be will be absorbed by the salmon, so it'll be a bit a little bit less. So I'm going to stick this in the refrigerator for about 35 minutes. You can do it anywhere from 35 minutes to an hour, and then I'm going to be right back, and then we will start cooking it up. So I will see you in a minute. 
All right, so our salmon has been marinating for about 35 minutes and now we are ready to put it on our pan. I have a um, cast iron grill pan here. You can always cook it outside on the grill, whatever you wanna do, um, but I decided to do this one inside. So the, as you can see, it's kind of smoking a little bit. So um, I have it on a medium, a medium temperature. Um, so you don't want to cook it too high. And I am going to add a little olive oil spray to the pan. And then we're just going to take our nice little salmon fillets and the smaller one first. And you kind of want to gently turn them around. And I find actually using a spatula to gently place them. I use my finger just because I don't want them to. Um, you want it to be skin side down. And you want to be really careful not to break it apart. So, and then turn this around. And again, get your spatula. And put it on. All right, and so then I have this little dome here and I'm gonna let it sit there for about five minutes. I literally get my phone and set it for five minutes and that's what I'm gonna do and I'll be right back in five minutes. All right, so my phone literally just went off and it's been five minutes and let's take a look. It looks awesome. So let's put these onto a plate. All right, so then I'm going to go serve these up. All right, so now um, I have our beautiful salmon on a plate. And a lot of times I serve it with um, some rice. You can do brown rice, white rice, uh, some nice vegetables. And the sauce here goes really nicely on the rice um, as well as your vegetables. Um, I've actually made it with using um, uh, snow peas or snap peas and putting it in a wok and using this sauce too. So. There's so many things you can do. Make sure you use the sauce too because it's fabulous. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit of the sauce and put it onto my salmon. And then I'm gonna have a nice little bite. It's so... Mm. So good. I swear, I mean, I have made this so many times and I really think this, this salmon itself is just it's stellar. It's making this even, even better recipe than it already is. So I want to say thank you so much to Sina, um, Sina C Seafoods for sending me this fish. And uh, you, you cannot leave without signing up for the contest. So make sure you look down below for all the information, sign up for the contest, get some seafood from Sina C and make this yourself. So anyway, I really hope that you like this recipe. I hope you win the fish, and I will see you next time.